What's up guys, you're watching the review of the core sensor bar here at Real. Just rode this bar on the water um, with the core kites and I can say straight off the bat, I like it a lot. Grips nice and smooth, very easy to ride. Um, pretty simple bar. One of the main things about co the core bar, which is, is pretty cool I will say, um, is this system here. You can see there's two lines that run down and if you get close in on the bar here, if I twist a little bit, you can see it actually runs through the bar in two places, right? So what that means is as you twist, you do rolls or anything like that, what it's gonna do is it's going to give you the opportunity to unwind it here. People are always worried about it twisting. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mimic a couple of back rolls, just standing right here. Maybe do another one. And then let's say I went wild and did a third one. There we go. So. Uh, as you come out of those back rolls and you unspin your bar to get back to where you do it, you see these lines have caught up here because of the way it runs through the bar in two places. Now, um, the way you undo this on most kites is there's a spinner at the top or there's a manual spinner here which you unwind. Now, of course, you can manually unwind the spinner here, but there's no need because if you pull the bar down, see how that untangles all the twists and the lines and the lines stay completely twangle free. And that is a really cool feature. I will give it to them. The downside is, Look at the wear on the rope already um, from a pretty new bar, okay? So it's gonna wear the rope because it's running through the bar in two places. The only other thing to talk about, um, we'll talk about the chicken loop. The D power is simple, it's above the bar, it works nice. I actually kind of like this bar because it has this Velcro bit. And kind of when you waggle it about, sometimes it actually just gets stuck on there and stays. So nice and clean, easy. Down on the bottom though, the chick this thing is an interesting piece because the release on this bar is a twist release, okay? so. What that means is that you twist the bar, you twist it here to undo it. Now I'm gonna try and do this here for you without dropping the kite out of the sky, but you see what I've done is I've twisted the thing. So there you go. And you can see the release right there. Now what that, what that means is that it's kind of easy to do. It's just a twist when you're on the water. The downside of this is of course, it makes it really hard to put it back on on the water. I mean, you can see I'm gonna try and do it right now. Obviously this kite's pulling you. So you have to thread this through here like this and then twist it back on and actually what you have to do is in order to do it is you have to hold the bar here on this twist piece with two hands and then do it okay so doable but not impossible um, so the only other thing I will say about this is if you like doing unhooked tricks at all this chicken loop is really really small getting it back in you almost have to guide it in with your hands and of course and this has happened to me while you're guiding it in with your hands what you get is and I'll show you here as you guide it in with your hands because you have to have your hand here it's easy to actually twist it and pop the release while you're trying to guide it on kind of an annoying thing but I think for a lot of riders especially those who are hooked in this is a great bar the fact that you can untwiddle that thing like that is the best one of the best things about this bar and about probably any bar so uh, it is a four line bar it'll work with any four line kite you can find out more about this bar and everything else at of course realwatersports.com thank you very much and we will see you on the water